Welcome back to the channel. I'm continuing this series of processing sketches. These are creative coding exercises. They're really short, fun, highly visual, and sometimes interactive little bits of processing code that you can run online. I've stored a sketch here called L system slide on my account with open processing. With this one, we can see there's a little window here for the display, which currently just looks like a vertical black line. Then on the right, we have some slider interaction here. You just click and hold the, the blue button and then move it to the right and you'll see what happens. I'll do that really quickly. As we move that back and forth, we can see some really interesting changes take place to this line. It looks a little bit like a tree. And this is what's known as an L system. You can read about that, look that up. But let's take a quick look at the code behind this visual. We see a setup function, a draw function, and then there's a recursive branch function. I will again mention that the code for these sketches was created in part using an AI chatbot. I talk about that in another video, but it's a great way to get started. I specified that I wanted it to be with the processing language, specifically p5.js. And so this is part of what it gave to me. I, I had to tell it I wanted a really simple example with a slider. Then I worked with this a little bit and this is what it came up with. Inside of the recursive branching function, this is where the, the logic happens to draw all of the little tree branches. If you're not familiar with push and pop and stacks, you can read about that separately, but it's taking advantage of some of that. Then we can see in the draw function, there's a clear, then there's a background, which gives it that sort of orange color. There's a translate, which moves everything to the middle of the page. Then there's a little bit with the line weight here called stroke weight and branch, which is important to the branching logic. And in the setup, we just have some angle, create canvas, and then the slider itself is created here. So I encourage you to check this out. One really nice thing about this particular format is that if you wanted to take this example and then extend it, you can click on this button in the top right to fork this example and create your own version of it. You can also feel free to just copy this and paste it and make it your own. You can come and play with this and then, and then make new versions. Take care. Have a great week. Till next time.